Yo, it's Crow, and we have some really disturbing news on Ezra Miller. For those of you who are unaware, Ezra Miller is the Flash for Warner Brothers and has his own solo film coming out really soon uh, that's already been filmed, already been shot, and pretty much during it, ever since it's been completed, Ezra Miller has been in trouble with the law. But this story is shocking and much worse than anything else he has been accused of. Ezra Miller grooming allegations surface about actor. This this quote is is absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> you, you can read it on the screen. Uh, but yeah. Now I have the story from TMZ um, in which they've removed that quote from their story. So I don't know. I don't know. I've heard other people reporting it, but. This this is absolutely nuts. Um, I have a statement from the teen, which if if what the parents are alleging is true, it makes sense that they would be saying this. But also, I had this thread pulled up from BuzzFeed. Here's everything you need to know about Ezra Miller's history of arrests, threats, and concerning encounters with fans um, from uh, roughly uh, about a month ago. Now, I think it's really interesting to go through because Ezra Miller for years has had this history right of being abusive with fans of being violent with fans of making threats towards fans it's been going on for roughly a decade now but on top of that we now know that ezra miller has been acting in in a disgusting manner with uh with a child um the the individual they met when she was 12 and he was 23 I'm going to read through the story here, but it, it's, it is really disturbing. Uh, of course, it is just an allegation right now, but given Ezra Miller's uh, uh, rather uh, uh, public history of being violent with women, I, I understand the uh, grooming of a child is different, but clearly Miller has no issues breaking the law. Ezra Miller is not only a bad influence, they're a danger to the well-being of an 18-year-old woman, at least according to her parents, who are asking a court to step in and keep the actor away from her. According to new legal docs obtained by TMZ, Dakota Iron Eyes met a then 23-year-old Miller in 2016 when she was just 12, and the actor was visiting the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. From there, Takata's parents say she and Ezra developed a friendship they believe put Takata at risk. Takata's parents say Miller flew her to London in 2017 to visit the studio where Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was filmed, and she was a big fan and Miller was a star in the movie. At the time of the trip, they say Dakota was uh, 14 and Ezra was 25. Now, look, I, I gotta put some black on the parents, um, because you had your 14-year-old daughter being filmed, being flown out uh, by a 25-year-old dude. By, by, <coughs> sorry, by a 25-year-old dude. But um, also, I can kind of understand, you know, being the parents of that situation. Famous actor shows up. You, I mean, there, it's not like this stuff is public about him at this time. It's not like his uh, arrest for, you know, assaulting women has gone public at this time. And their daughter is a huge fan of the movie. And they're probably thinking, oh, oh, OK. But I mean, Ezra's a fucking creep. At, <laughs> as the friendship continued... Takata's parents claim Ezra supplied their underage daughter with alcohol, marijuana, and LSD. Not only that, they claim Ezra, best known as The Flash in the DC superhero films, disrupted Takata's schooling at a private institute in Massachusetts so much she dropped out in December 2021. So she's a high school dropout, too. Oh, that's good. The parents say they flew to Miller's Vermont home in January to get their daughter and discovered she didn't have her driver's license, car keys, bank card, and other items needed to navigate life independently. They say they also found bruises on Takata's body, which they allege Ezra caused. Now, the, the, the whole thing about taking away, um, you know, their, their, their driver's license, their ID, uh, their, 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 their cards. I mean, if that's true, Ezra was making uh, this, this child entirely dependent on him just to survive. Um, now, I'm sure that the, 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 the kid here doesn't see it that way. Because they've been groomed to think that this behavior is appropriate when it absolutely is not. Shortly after she got home, 
Kaz's parents say she fled to New York City to reunite with Ezra, and from there, the pair has been traveling together to Vermont, Hawaii, and Los Angeles. The two were spotted at a club in Hawaii in a video obtained by TMZ. As we reported, Miller got arrested several times during their stay in Hawaii, including the incident where they allegedly attacked bar patrons. I had, I, wow. I didn't know the girl was there. Actually, I have something on the story from Hawaii um, because one of the things about Ezra Miller, um, and, and given that it is Pride Month, you know, you, you have to talk about this. Ezra Miller identifies as non-binary, goes by they, them pronouns, okay? Why is that important? Because any time Ezra Miller is arrested, is involved in some sort of controversy, says some objectively horrific shit, Ezra and all of his, you know, queen fans come out talking about how they're being homo, how, how, how people are being homophobic towards him, how, how, how they, uh, how they're just trying to, uh, attack him because he's a member of the LGBT whatever. Ezra Miller is just a creep. Ezra Miller is just a bad person. Ezra Miller thinks it's okay to assault people in public. Ezra Miller apparently has been hanging around with a girl since she was 12 years old. She is 18 years old now, and the two of them are still together. So, I, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I really don't. But this guy hides behind his status as a member of the Alphabet Squad so that he doesn't get called out for attacking women in public and grooming children. It's fucking disturbing. In the docs, Takata's parents state Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threats of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent Takata. They claim Ezra is also told Takata to go solely by Gibson, a nickname she formerly used with family and friends. Then there's this. They say Ezra has decided Takata is non-binary transgender when she had previously declared non-binary queer gay. I, I gotta be honest with you guys. Like, this is something that always kind of disturbed me uh, about um there's a study that came out recently saying more and more people are identifying as queer but not actually uh being involved in ships um and it's because it's trendy and it's hip to identify as some type of queer identity um when you then take a young impressionable teenager and you throw them under ezra sway it would make sense that ezra has concocted a new identity for this child. I, <laughs> I I do have the statement from Takata, by the way. Um, and I like I really don't feel like it's appropriate to read through it. it. Takata is 18. That is true. But this is someone who from the age of 12 has been under the influence of Ezra Miller, who we know is a violent fucking psychopath. Now, in terms of the arrest from uh, Hawaii, uh, <laughs> he had multiple arrests, by the way. Multiple arrests. It wasn't just a one-time thing. Um, Ezra Miller threatened cops with a hate crime for getting his pronouns wrong. Now, I know I'm getting the pronouns wrong, too. I, I try. I do. But also, Ezra Miller is a child-grooming, woman-beating piece of human filth in a skin suit. I really don't care what people accuse me of. Uh, here's everything you need to know about Ezra Miller's history of arrests, threats, and encounters, and concerning encounters with fans. So it goes through a whole list, uh, talking about, you know, when he was first uh, broke out onto the scene in 2011. At the age of 19, the actor who identifies non-binary, he uses they, them pronouns, most important thing about him, uh, had already starred in several indie movies, including After School in City Island, but it was their unsettling role as Killer Kevin that really put Ezra's name on the map. Yep. Uh, since then, they've joined huge movie franchises, including DC Comics as The Flash and Cast B series, which pretty much everyone already knows. Uh, in as many months, 29-year-old Ezra has been arrested two times while in Hawaii and has also been the subject of a restraining order in a separate incident. In fact, Warner Bros. and DC executives were said to have held emergency meetings last month to discuss Ezra's future as The Flash following their arrest for disorderly conduct and harassment. But Ezra's history of concerning behaviors with co-stars, fans, and other members of the public actually dates back 2017. Here's everything you need to know. I mean, so 2017, so we're like five years. Uh, so he's been, what, 
10, 11 years went since he broke out uh, as being like a, a, a bigger name uh, actor. And uh, so that's, that's what, 11 years? Six years he was good. And then uh, about five years ago, all this stuff started coming out publicly. And Ezra's arrest on March 28th reportedly led to the execs hitting pause on future projects for them for the time being, which is a good thing. Police reports state that Ezra became agitated by a group of patrons in a Hawaii bar that were singing karaoke. The actor allegedly shouted obscenities at the group and snatched the microphone from a 23-year-old woman while she was singing. Because, you know, Ezra, Ezra thinks it's okay to tell women what to do. Uh, Ezra is also accused of lunging at a man who was playing darts and was arrested and charged on both counts before being released on a $500 bail. On March 29th, a local couple filed a temporary restraining order against Ezra, alleging that after the arrest at the bar, Ezra burst into their bedroom and threatened them. Ezra Miller is violent. Ezra Miller has inappropriate relationships with children. Ezra Miller is going to be the star of the Flash film, which is coming out very soon. Um, and I think that that is disgusting, disturbing, and oh my fucking God. Remember how Warner Brothers uh, was completely against pulling Amber Heard from Aquaman 2, even though she was a side character, even though the consensus online was that Amber Heard is an abuser, her phone calls were out there of her mocking Johnny Depp after she abused him, um, and Warner Brothers refused to remove her up until she lost her defamation suit. Up, up until Johnny Depp crushed her in court, Warner Brothers was fully intent on featuring a domestic abuser in Aquaman 2. So, given that Ezra Miller it, it has not yet been arrested, or sorry, sorry, that not yet been charged, or charged, prosecuted, uh, 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 convicted, sorry. Given that Ezra Miller has not been convicted of the crimes yet, Warner Brothers is going to be fully intent on releasing that film. Disturbing. Disgusting. I'll see you guys in the next one.